What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about how you can use apply image to make your colors blend into your photos 100,000 times better. So let's get into it. What's up guys, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com, home to editing tutorials, camera gear reviews, tricks, and tips. Today we're going to be talking about apply image and how you can use it to make your colors come to life in Photoshop. Currently this photo is pretty much raw, straight out of camera, nothing has been done to it. So for the sake of this tutorial, all we're going to do is adjust some colors. Now the two color adjustment layers I like to use apply image for is always my color balance and my selective color. Of course this can be used on a couple different things, but those are the ones that we're going to be talking about in today's tutorial. We really have to just push things way beyond what we probably would just so that we can compare the two. So I'm going to do one color balance with no apply image and I'm going to do one more color balance with an apply image. I'm just going to type in some random values and we're going to see what we get. So in this case, let's just say I want to add a bunch of blue, so I'm just going to vote, go plus 20. Then let's say I want to add just a little bit of red and I'll go plus 10. Now maybe let's add just a touch of green and I'll go five. So now let's use apply image. I'm gonna make a new color balance adjustment layer. I'm gonna turn off my original one. So I'm just gonna call this quickly to no apply image. And then I'm gonna call this one apply image. So now what I'm going to do with my layer mask selected on my apply image adjustment layer, I'm gonna go right up here to image and down here to apply image. Now I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that my layer here is set to merge channel RGB and I like to keep my blending mode at normal. You can also use multiply, but for this case, I find normal does a really good job. Once your settings look all good, just click okay. Of course, it doesn't look like anything has happened, but if you, we look over here, our layer mask has now gone from white to actually having something on it. So if I just hold alt and click on my layer mask, we can take a look at what's going on. So what we're looking at right here is our layer mask. So what we know about layer masks is white is 100% visible while black is 100% invisible. With that being said, since our layer mask is made up of everything between white and black, that means that any adjustments that we make to this adjustment layer here, different areas are going to be affected in different ways depending on their scale of black to white. The less complicated way of thinking about it is now the colors are going to blend into our shadows and our highlights a lot better. So I'm just going to exit out of that view and now let's try to make some adjustments here. I'm going to do the exact same adjustments as I did with my first one. So I'm going to put in 10 for my red, 5 for my green, and 20 for my blue. As you see, all of our adjustments are made and that's what our image is looking like. If I turn that on and off, you can see the little bit of difference that it made. Now let's compare it to our no apply image. So keep this image in mind. I'm gonna turn off my apply image and this is no apply image. Do you see the difference there? See how much better our colors blend into our photo when we use our apply image onto our layer mask? Let's go through one more example. So now I'm gonna make two selective color layers. I'm just gonna name the first one apply image and I'm going to name the second one no apply image. So I'm gonna just turn off my apply image one for now and I'm just gonna do some quick adjustments to my blacks. I'm just gonna maybe bring up my blacks a little bit like this, add a little bit of blue, add a little bit of green or cyan and a little bit of green. So obviously this looks terrible, but what I'm trying to do is just over exaggerate once again to sh get the point across of what apply image is doing. So now we're gonna keep these settings in mind and I'm going to go and do the same thing over on my apply image. And first of all, I'm gonna select up my layer mask, go up here to image, down here to apply image, make sure all my settings are here, blending is set to normal, I'm gonna click okay. Now I know that my image has been applied to my layer mask by just looking at my layer mask right here. And now I'm going to type in the exact same values. So now just sticking within our blacks tab, I've typed in all of the exact same settings as our no apply image. And this is what our final look appears like. No apply image and apply image. As you see, it's really really helps to 
make those colors be a part of your image, make things come to life a little bit more. And this is definitely a tool that you should seriously start to consider using in your own toolkit. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my weekly photo and editing tutorials. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time.